holiday celebrating the end of Ramadan and the breaking of the fast so it is a very lively event it is only 3 30 in the morning here in downtown Cairo and as you can see people are out so yes it's a, a very festive time it's a three day <laughs> It is a three-day festival, um, like I said, celebrating the end of Ramadan. So what happens during these three days, the first day, which is today, uh, Muslims will go to the mosques because there are large communal prayer gatherings. So people are giving thanks and they are praying. Um, but over the next three days, people are going to be praying, singing, and eating, and exchanging gifts, visiting relatives. Uh, parents are giving gifts to their kids, money to their kids. So it's kind of like the Christmas for Muslims, if I can say that. So yeah, um, very lively out here. Um, I'm going to be heading to one of the oldest mosques, not only in all of Egypt, but in all of Africa to witness these large communal prayers, show you guys, and yeah, just kind of feel the streets, the vibes. So without further ado, yalla, let's hit the road. <laughs> Lots of people out here. For 3.30 <laughs> in the morning, it is, there are crowds out here. So this is a public holiday in Egypt. So people are not working for the next few days or like a week or something like that. For sure, there are three days that the holiday lasts, but I think some people have more time off after that, including the weekend. So yes, yeah, very festive time of the year. People are People have actually gone shopping before the holiday began. So people were shopping for new clothes and things like that um, during Ramadan or even before Ramadan um, for Aid. So they're buying new clothes for their kids, maybe some new clothes for themselves. Um, we're passing through Tahrir Square at the moment. But yes, people, um, a lot of people wear the traditional clothing of Egypt, uh, the Galabeya, on Aid. And a lot of times they are wearing white as well. Just like um, on Aid al Adha, which I made a video about the other Aid, <laughs> the Feast of Sacrifice, which happens later in the year. But, um,. Yeah, Aid al Fitr is like their Christmas. It, I heard noises all night, to be honest. Um, there was a lot of commotion outside. People started um, buying, so they eat a lot of sweets um, on this holiday. They eat a lot of cookies in particular. So a lot of these preparations for Aid would have begun last night. Um, like people were baking cookies, people were ironing their galabeyas, uh, calling relatives. Yes, all of that began last night, singing, hear the mosques going off. But today is officially Aid, Aid al Fitr. So, this mosque that I am taking you guys to. 
I'm not going to be going inside. I will be uh, on the outside of it, just kind of watching these communal prayers because uh, people will be outside on the streets praying and singing and um, yeah, it's not going to be just inside. So, and another thing about that, so a lot of times throughout the year, um, it's m more the men, it's mainly the men that are going to the mosques to pray. Of course, women go as well, but you'll, the majority are men during the year. But on Aid al Fitr, if you are going to pray, you should go to the mosque. So, yes, men and women are out in force at the mosques praying. And if you're curious, <laughs> to see inside this mosque that is the oldest one in Africa. That's actually a bit debated. I think there's supposed to be one other one that was built like 20 years earlier. Regardless, it is very old. <laughs> so, yeah, if you want me to show you guys the mosque another day inside, I am certainly willing to do that. Yeah. So people eat a lot of sweets during the holiday and I will be showing you guys that after um, some very special cookies, very ancient cookies also I might add, <laughs> but I'll leave that for later. <laughs> oh, go, 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 go. So I need to go left. <laughs> Whenever this taxi makes it through, then I can go. Great. Oh, what? I can't get through here? Or what? There's a way to get through here somehow, right? Let me try. Check it out. Great. Motorbikes are allowed. <laughs> yes, yeah, here we go. Crowds are out. It's been made a pedestrian only zone. Well, almost, except for motorcycles and tuk tuks. And the mosque that we are going to is Amr, Amr Ib something, As, Amr Ibn As. My pronunciation is never good. Well, I don't see as many people wearing white as I would have expected. Aid al-Adha definitely has more. I was told that. Some people maybe try. Definitely not a requirement. None of this is a requirement. You don't have to go pray, but people are very happy to go out and pray and give thanks after the breaking of the fast Ramadan. Okay, so I just need to find somewhere to like park my bike. Here we are. And no motorbikes allowed in here, maybe. Let me think. Where do I want to park my motorcycle? Hiya!
so I'm still standing by my bike. The call to prayer uh, peg just went off, <laughs> but I'm awkwardly over here um, <laughs> debating to go in there. <laughs> Not into the mosque, just um, near. I'm gonna cover my hair with this scarf and then just go into the general area, but I might film with my phone for a little while um, until I perhaps feel more comfortable and see. <laughs> so let's go, yalla.
1,383 years old. It was built in the year 641. Very old. And the prayer will be happening for about 15-20 minutes. And then I believe people will be coming out and mingling. <laughs> I heard there was singing. We'll see. I really do feel so out of place.
things like roet, which is kind of like a very thin, delicate tortilla that they'll put in milk. So yeah, they're gonna go home, hang out with their family, eat, then go to visit relatives' homes, have more pastries. A very festive atmosphere out here. I'm gonna hang out for a little while. Let's wander.
streets and they would have like little wars. So very rowdy, the kids.